Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to load CSV file with or without adders into Snowflake table. This is the first file where we don't have a adder information. And this is the another, fi another file where we have a adder information. And this is the another file, third file. Here we have a adder information multiple times like two times we have a first one and fourth record fourth row we have a two adders and another file if you see here we have a adder information twice but this time instead of loc we have a complete name so now i am going to load one by one and we'll see how we are going to do this one I'm going to use the demo DB database and public schema. And here, please note that I'm not going to load the directly into department table. Instead of that, I'm using this first I'm going to load the data into stage table by using the copy command, snowflake copy command. Stage table structure would be like this, all columns, department number, D name, location, with where care. So I'm not going to create a exact uh, you know, data types actual table db table i am going to create a table with actual data types department number d name where care of 14 location 13. this is the one assumption and uh, here i am going to create a file format my csv file format with type equal to csv without any adder information please note that if you use the file format with adder or without adder then there would be a problem because we don't know when we are going to receive the file with adder or without adder so to avoid that what we are going to do we are just using the file type as the csv and without any adder information as part of the file format so that we can load any type of file but we'll see how we are going to ignore that by loading the data into stage tape from stage to department table main table i will show you that one how to end it how to restrict those rows so here i am going to use the internal stage let me create the in, in, internal stage snowflake internal stage by using the this file format so file has been a file format a stage internal stage has been created now what i am going to do le, just let's see just now created so this would be empty now to copy the files into internal stage, what we have to do? We have to use the either uh, SnowSQL or Python connector. So here I'm using the SnowSQL client, okay, which is a utility. So this is the, you know, connect to, I think I already, yeah, connected. So I'm just use account admin role is the use role account admin use database demo db use schema public okay once you use this one then what i am going to do let me copy the put command so here i am going to load the four files one by one so yeah so just enter and then all four files will be uploaded into my internal stage from local system so all the files are loaded now what i'm going to do we'll see the files are present in our stage or not my stage uh sorry one minute here uh, i didn't okay now yeah so four see four files are there now we will load one by one okay before loading anyhow stage i am going to truncate the whatever the data is there in the stage every time so case one no adders so copy into stage table from my stage and this is the file okay four rows have been loaded now let me show you the okay four rows are there here we don't have any adder information so now let me use the uh, let me truncate the data if already any data exists ideally there was 
there is no data with this is very first time so this is the statement okay insert statement simple insert statement insert into department table select star from stage underscore debt where upper of deep number not equal to deep treat number hard coded value or upper of d name not equal to d name or upper of location equal not equal to loc so any any column value from okay from the stage table if you see any debt number starting with the debt number then you ignore or d name starting with the d okay d name then like that this is the only condition so you have to write so four rows as in inserted now here four rows so here anyhow we don't have any added information so now looks fine now i am going to load the another file before loading them, let me truncate the data from the stage table and uh, i am going to load the with headers this time copy command i am going to use the copy command to load the data from the file this time we have a five rows one is the header another, uh, another four actual data so here if you see the data from the table stage table we have a this is the we are not supposed to load the data into our main table called well, db table so what i am going to do let me truncate the previous data which we have loaded now i am going to just without where condition i am just trying to insert the data into table we will definitely get the numeric value db number is not recognized because db number data type is the number so that's why you cannot insert the for that to avoid that one we have to apply or we have to use this where condition so that that extra row header row will not insert into main table okay four rows number of rows inserted four so this is the how you are going to load the data when you have a headers now next case with multiple headers so multiple headers also same only okay let me show you the let me truncate the data and i am going to load the or copy data from the file by using the copy command here six rows this time we have a six rows four are actual rows and two rows are the adder so now uh, let me show you the data see one is upper case and another one lower, lower case so we have a two adders information so let me truncate the previous loaded data from the main table so that we can see after inserting the data yeah successfully truncated now what i am going to do i am going to execute the same only here so that's why here i use the upper of upper function otherwise we are going to get the error so this time we don't get error so four rows have been inserted expected four rows so yeah, four rows have been inserted now what i am going to do case four with invalid headers because why uh, i say invalid headers uh, uh, let me once we load the data i mean copy data into stage table i will show you that one. so here six rows loaded if you see the data from the stage table here we have a this row is fine but this row we have a location okay lvc location so because of this what i am what we are going to get the error when you try to this one this condition will get fail and this will get so like that we will get the five rows so that's why numeric value department number is not recognized because one of the condition is not equal to location we have a complete location that's why if you try to this one you will get five rows yeah, that's why so in that case what we have to do we have to write a validations before loading into uh, you know from stage to department table because you know users may upload any type of uh, column names if they send some wrong columns as per okay then we have to apply the validations before loading into data from stage to department number apart from a department table apart from whatever these are so if they send like this then there is no problem at all if they send other than this okay headers other than this name then those will consider as a 
actual rows and when you try to insert that data from stage to department then we'll get the error because the, the it's a uh, department number is the okay data type is the number but we are trying to insert the where care so we will get the error so for that to avoid such kind of things what we have to do we have to write a extra condition extra validations so i will show you that in the upcoming video yeah that's all from this video thank you if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel click bell icon for more notifications share it and like it. Thank you.